It's not healthy is all I'm saying, man. You get backed up like that, you're bound to explode. It's really not a problem. Not a problem? John, how many years ago did Nicole leave you? You haven't been with anyone else since? People are starting to talk, man. The Pope called last week to see if you were okay. What'd you tell him? Told him you better change the church's position on masturbation, otherwise you're liable to lose your immortal soul. is the church's stance on masturbation? Sitting, I think. <laughs> I mean, seriously, man, what's the problem? I don't know, man. It's hard meeting people. I'm out of practice. Pra what word practice? All you gotta do is meet them, smile, get in there and jam. All right, you're right, but I don't know, man, fuck. Just wish I hadn't fallen in love with her, you know? Oh, what? that word. What word? That is the word the Knights of Knee cannot hear, oh, John. Fuck off. Oh, I think my ride's here. Oh, oh we should finally get our learners. <laughs> okay. Oh. Whatever. More for me. Oh, Steve, look what you're missing out on. Morning, boys. What's the score? Oh, uh, hey, man. What's up, Chief? I'm winning. Uh, bullshit. And easy <laughs> with that Chief crap. I'm on 16th Native American. Fucker! Oh, hey! Lighten up, Francis. Uh, it's Frank, asshole. Psycho. Fucking white people. I know, right? John, get up. Uh. Am I interrupting something? Possibly a world record. I'll call Guinness. Hmm. What, are we late again or something? Well, considering classes started last week. No, no, I'd say we're right on time. Hmm. All right, give me a second, I'll be ready. Atta boy. They still let us come back here. Especially after last year, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I shit in that trash can. Oh, my God. Well, it was yeah, in the girls' bathroom. That was the problem. Are you going to be on TV? Oh, the, the math doesn't even add up. Oh, hey, I don't think we should be here today, man. What are you talking about? Wait, dude, is that... No, no, is that? no, it definitely isn't. Yeah, dude, that's Nicole. No, it isn't. It's somebody else. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I hear your mom calling you. What's hey, that, Mrs. Barton? John stole I, your socks hey, I, again? Hey, hey, how do I look? You look like a lesbian, so we what should go home mean, and change. Man? <laughs> Having some trouble there? John! Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> How are you doing? Wow, are, are you still in school? Uh, yeah, I, I, took a, I took a year off, or three, three years off. So you're still living with your parents? No, 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 actually, uh, they're away for the summer, so place to myself, you know? What class do you have? 
Sociology. Um, actually, in a couple minutes with, uh, you, you remember Steve? Hey. Oh, come on, dude. Well, what about you? What, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, it's a long story. At the last minute, the university decided to avoid my AP Chem class, yeah. so I need to get the credit to get my master's. And That uh, sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, tell me about it, but at least they're letting me audit it here instead of New York. It saves me like 2,000 bucks. Oh, yeah? Who's teaching that class? Williams. Oh, my God. Dude, we're, we're in that class, too. Yeah. yeah. Sure, that's why you missed the first day? Well, yeah, I mean, um, we had some scheduling problems, so, you know, we are actually on the way to talk to Professor Williams, Williams right now, actually. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I guess I'll see you in class then. Yes, you will. Study buddies? Sure. All right. You look good, John. You too. Call me? Yes, absolutely. Six years of rehabilitation oh, down the drain. We have to get into chem, man. John, I'm your friend. Let's keep it that way. Let's okay? go to chem. You doing Let's that stupid to dance isn't going to make me want to go, go any faster. I mean, this isn't helping anymore. Excuse me, uh, Professor Williams? Yeah? Um, I'm trying to get into your advanced chemistry class, but they won't let me register without your signature. Well, you're, you're a week late. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't catch up now. You have to wait till next semester to sign up. Right, sorry we wasted your time. Come on, man. No, 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 uh, sir, my entire future depends on me getting into this class this semester. You know, this class is no joke. And I'm not laughing. Okay, what's the atomic weight of uh, xenon? 131.29. Wow, um, welcome to the class. Uh, catch up on your own and we're starting chapter four, Mr. Uh... Uh, Barton, John Barton. And uh, thank you, you're not gonna regret this, really. <laughs> dude, dude, how the hell did you know that? Oh, dude, you said I was an idiot for buying this shirt. I said you were an idiot for buying 20 of those. Well, I don't like to do laundry. <laughs> so anyways, I woke up and I was like, wait, that was your dog licking me? Because I definitely thought it was you. It was so weird. All the hallways look the same. Are we in the sociology wing? Because I don't understand. Oh, hold on, let me ask. Excuse me, oh, oh uh, sorry. Are they meditating in there? Yeah, how did we get into that class? Right, you think you just sleep the entire time and just pass that class? Oh, I'd get an A++, dude, right. for sure. Now, as you know, sociology is a science. And there are many times when the rules of sociology combine with science. And one of those would be the incarnation of the modern toothbrush. Uh, boys, you is late. We is? We sorry. Uh, yeah, oh, we got stuck in our other class. The professor held us late. And who might that be? Uh, Professor de Fringsdingberg Nasser. Who? Professor de Fringsdingberg Nasser. De Fringsdingberg Nasser. Oh, I knows him. You know what? I'll have a chat on him later on. Make sure he don't keep my boys after anymore. Oh, thank you very much. We'd really appreciate that. You bet. Uh, what are your names, boys? I gotta write you in the roll book over yonder. John Barton. Steve. This guy's a complete freaking idiot. He's gotta be faking it. He has to be. Okay. Where was I? Toothbrush? Toothbrush, yes. Thank you very much. We need to talk about the toothbrush and its effects on society as we know it today. Uh, before we start, does anybody have any questions or comments? Uh, yes, Willie? Sure. Uh, I think that the toothbrush is a necessary evil. Yes, it is. I believe that too. The toothbrush or Mouth stick, as it was <laughs> called frequently back in the day, was invented in 1654 by Sir Walter Tooth. Who can invent hey. things? He invented things no one ever heard of. What are you doing? Taking notes. Seriously? Leave me alone. I'm trying to get something from this class. 
From this guy? Are you kidding me? You don't think you're gonna get us lost, all right? I'll tell you what, you're better off coming back to my place and trying on my mouth stick. You are so sick. Oh my God, could you keep it down, please? Some of us are actually trying to do well in this class. Unbelievable, some people. The lack of respect for a tenured professor. Thank you, yes, young lady. Just please try to keep it down. Let's get back to the lesson. Similar to the caste system in India, the toothbrush made way for a bunch of advantaged people here in the new world. And we couldn't even... Uh, now class, must I repeat myself again? There is no room for that gadgetry junk here while I am teaching. Not in my classroom, sir. Come here, give that to me. Bring that up here. I will hold your junk till the end of class. <laughs> Come on. Do not believe this. Just give me that. Thank you. Oh, she's got to be cold. Was he gentle with you, junk? Shh. All right. Children, they were using towels for the longest time before the two were One one point two. It's John, the bartender here, with a finger deep into your local talent. Uh, that was phonetic plumbing with Larry. Up next, we got Wood with their hit song, and then a little champagne cupcake trio to finish the night off. So uh, stay with us as long as you can keep your eyes open. One hundred one point two. Just when I thought I was out, she pulls me back in, boys. Oh, did you just quote The Godfather 3? I think I just died a little bit on the inside. We should get chicken on the way home. You guys suck. You suck. <laughs> hey, Roger. Oh, no, no, man. Saturdays, I don't work ever, so you're gonna have to reschedule that or something. No, no, man. Saturdays, I really can't help you, okay? I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, too. Did you stop? It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Because, baby, I feel real good, and I wish I would. It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody, watch out. Hello. Hi, uh, do you have an application? Yes, I do. I'm Steve, Steve Dillard, and you are? Cindy Pressman. And you must be Cindy's sister. <laughs> Cindy, I like this one. Hello, you're a sweet talker, Hello. aren't you? <laughs> My name's Aunt Shelley, I'm Cindy's Aunt Shelley, but you can call me Aunt Shelley. Aunt Shelley, mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna go get that application? Follow me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Right, everything here looks sexy, um, satisfactory. Unfortunately, they're gonna make me ask you a couple questions. So, um, I see you are a senior at Olympia? Yes. Right, so what made you want to apply here? I don't know, I like movies. No way, I do too. That's so crazy. Um, I see you have a birthday coming up. In two months. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how, do you, how do you feel about fondling, uh, handling money, um, like out of the cash registers? Okay, I guess. Yeah. You hold a lot of other positions? Positions? Oh, uh, jobs, sorry. Oh, jobs. I babysat. Great. Uh, how about weekends? Yeah, I used to babysit on the weekends. No, 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 like, are you free on the weekends? Well, not if I'm working. Right, you, you're smart. Um, okay, if the phone were to ring right now, how, how would you answer it? How complicated are your phones? 
I've only used normal phones. That's an unfair question, and I'm not gonna ask it again. Okay, what about uh, transportation? I don't have a car, but my Uncle Zeke could probably give me a ride. Yeah, Uncle Zeke. You are so hired. <laughs> so, um, when when can you start? Next weekend. Great. How is uh, Saturday at one? Great. I'll be here. And so will I. Can't wait. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Throw popcorn at each oh, other. Yeah. No, we can't, because then I'll have to split it up. So I'm not gonna do that. actually made it. I'm impressed. How'd you get into this class? I've got some dirt on the professor. Notebook, textbook, pen. You've got all those, right? Some things never change. Okay, we'll be starting with chapter four today. Self-organization principles of molecules under extreme pressure. I'm glad you're here, John. I feel so familiar. Well, happy to be entertaining you. We should uh, get together, though, after this. You know, just catch up and talk. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. When placed under intense pressure, these noble gases tend to act like what other elements, uh, Mr. Barton? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm actually uh, still getting acclimated with the material. OK, but uh, no excuses next class. Okay, class, now everyone's needing to be getting settled. Now, don't forget your papers is due next class, so don't forget them. I aims to get them graded by the weekend. It oh, good, you're here. See, I told you guys he'd show up. They were gonna leave. Were some of y'all gonna leave? Yeah, well, some of them were, but I stopped them, so. Thank you, son. You're such a fucking prick, you know that? Honey, I am the macaroni and the cheese. <laughs> hey, you made it. Let me get you one of these. Wow. Don't spill. This place hasn't changed a bit. Are you kidding me? This place used to be nasty. There used to be used condoms and syringes and hobos fucking over there and stuff. This place looks great now. Yeah, I don't remember all that. I guess we didn't really make it out of the back seat. This was kind of our spot, huh? It's kind of everyone's spot. Half the girls I know were here at one point or another. This place is kind of crazy like that. It's got some sort of wild sexual vibe about it, you know? Mm. You know, the guys around town actually call it the pussy vortex. That's disgusting. OK, well, by the guys around town, I actually just mean Steve. Mm. Why do you still hang out with him? I don't know. He's, um, he's a good friend. He's there. He's there, you know? That's something, I guess. I just thought you'd be doing something by now. You had a lot of plans, John. Yeah, I, I know. I know, I, I'm on the radio now. It's the night shift for uh, 101.2, you remember? I get to play all the local band's new music that they can't get on during the day, so, I mean, that's cool. My boss hates me, though, he's a fucking dick. He just thinks I'm some sort of fuck up, you know? I may be a weirdo, yes, but, not a fuck up. I'm not where I wanted to be at all. You know, I, I still got ideas, just. Forget it. What about you? What's new with you? I'm engaged. <coughs> I'm engaged? Yeah. He's a professor in New York City. We're not engaged, engaged. He still has to finalize his divorce first, but. I'm sorry? I know how it sounds. Okay. Okay, but, but 
This is different. He listens to me. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm happy you found someone. Okay, really, I am. Thanks. Most of my friends aren't very understanding. Ah, uh, well, they're probably just thinking about what they want instead of what you want, you know? People can be like that sometimes. Yeah. Thanks for being supportive. Of course, I'm, I'm happy for you. Really, I, I am. Oh well, I guess that's it. You're just gonna have to move on. That sucks. There are other fish in the sea though. So oh, shit, man. Okay, this, I'm still in the game. Okay, it's just the first quarter and contrary to popular belief, I have endurance. John, you need to forget about Nicole completely, all right? Get yourself a safe girl. Well, like a high school girl? Hey, you know what? Much like this mix of hops in heaven, it is an acquired taste. I don't know, man. High school girls seem a little immature for my taste. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Steve. Oh, no, he's back. Oh, 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 no, he's attacking me, Steve! Steve, help me, Steve! Oh! Bitch. Oh, don't pretend you didn't like that. Asshole. Exactly. Ready to get your sociology on? You write your paper? Not even a little bit. You? Who are you talking to? Hi, yes, Professor Robertson. This is Steve Dillard from class. No, sir, you don't teach trigonometry. You're sociology 101 class. Yeah, yeah, the one that starts in 20 minutes. Yeah, I was just calling to let you know that John Barden and I aren't gonna be... John Barden? Yeah, 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 he's in the class too. We're both in the class. I was just calling to let you know that our grandma died, so we aren't gonna be able to make it. Yes, yes, absolutely, sir. We will get those papers emailed to you the second the funeral ends. Thank you so much, Professor Robertson. Well done, Ferris, really. Good job. Uh, what about my chemistry class? I think I have a blank death certificate you can borrow if you want. What, are you just printing $50 bills in the basement or something? Oh, John. You have so much to learn. Okay, that was cool. Yeah, right? That was cool. I didn't even think it was gonna happen like that. It just, just kinda did. And so it was the peer pressure from the deviant apes that made the good apes start smoking the leaves. And I don't have to tell you that precipitated the human evolution. <sighs> Guys, you is late again. What am I gonna do with you? Yeah, sorry. Hey, did you grade our papers? Uh. Apparently you boys never turned them in. Whoa, hey, whoa, we called you, remember? Dead grandma, grandma's dead? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you know, I think I do remember something about that. Yeah, it's coming back to me. Yeah, yeah, we emailed them. It says right here you got them. I'm sure they're down in my office. After class, meet me down in my office and we'll go over all of this. We'll get it squared away. Yeah. Thank you, boys. <laughs> wow. So let's get back now to our lesson. You say it's evolution, some say it's evolution. I just say it's Lucian. Doesn't matter. Lucian is Lucian. So I didn't wind up going that night, but then I found out that they brought in like a midget and a flamethrower and it was so hot. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, uh, oh wait, what, hey. what the hell are you guys doing here? Shouldn't you be playing like Frogger or something? Uh, we're, 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 we're looking for the psychology department. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're paying five bucks for some negative reinforcement testing. <laughs> We're hungry. It's five dollar foot long day. Mmm, five dollar mm. foot long. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know, all right, whatever, guys. Uh, I'll see you back at my house. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right, so Thank you. 
<clears throat> yeah, I didn't know their asses weren't cemented to your couch cushion, so that's pretty weird. Who's there? John? Come Steve. In. Oh, come in. Yeah, it was like a joke. Knock, knock. And then I said, who's there? Oh. Hi, what can I do you for? Did you find our papers yet? No. Uh, good. Um, I know it is here somewhere. I, I had it. It's messy here. I, it's, it's, uh, do, do you need us to resend them? No, 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 no. This is my fault. This is all my fault. Uh, it is. I've been busy, and, you know, and you, I remember your, it was a good paper. You did a good job. Yeah. Very good job. How, you know what? Let's just cut to the otter's head, and, uh, what do you say? We'll give you a 98. <laughs> a 98 for you? And for you, yeah, a 98, right? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Mine wasn't as good as his. You're right. 81, 81. We'll just do that. Right, that's a B. And B is good. I like B. Um, well, you know, I do appreciate your waiting. I, I, again, I do apologize for this. Sometimes, you know, th this comes up, and I'm, it's piling up higher and higher, and I know somewhere inside here, I have, I know it's here, but. No, 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 hey, hey, our grandma shouldn't have died. No, she shouldn't have. What an idiot, right? Well, you know, I just, you know, you can't, it's not her fault, but it kind of is. A little, a They little. can plan a little better. Why don't you get out of here now, because I, I got lots of stuff to do, and I got to find another paper. Yeah, um, absolutely. All right, you take care now. Whoa, hey. one of you guys dropped a deuce or something. <laughs> and, oh, I win. What? I am the best. You're fucking cheater, that's what you are. I get the mozzarella stick here. Mm. Pick up the joy. Let's go Smells again. Like victory again. Run it back. Okay, so when a new movie comes in, it comes in on one of these hard drives. You know, it's not like the old days where it came in on multiple reels. You had to splice the film together. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, anyways, when a new movie comes in, you come over here, take out the old hard drive, put the new one in, and slide it in. I can't see. Oh, all right. Well, come over this way. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, so you... Sorry, where was I? Sliding it in. What? The hard drive. Oh, the... right. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Frank, get off of him, dude. Oh my god, I think my fucking spleen just ruptured. Oh, <laughs> oh anyway, I am getting the CUDA back tomorrow, by oh, the way. Oh shit, it's yeah. about time, man. I know, you're telling me. I'm about to be cruising like all day on Monday. Wait, what's Monday? Is it Arbor Day? Monday, my friend, is what high schools refer to as a half day. So it'd be sacrilege not to take advantage of that, right? So, so wait, what, what about the, um, what's her name? The, 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 the new hottie at work. Oh yeah, no, I don't know if that one's gonna work out this time. I've never stopped you before. Yeah, but I keep getting older, okay? I'm gonna get caught pretty soon. So don't do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, you've obviously never seen this chick before, all right? You don't say no to a girl like this. Uh, you don't. <laughs> all right, yeah, whatever, I don't. Uh, she's not like your average high school girl, you know? She's... <laughs> what, is she advanced homeschool? No, she's in high school. I just mean she's... Fuck, I don't know, she's different, all right? But isn't that what you said about Sarah? Yeah, I did say that about Sarah, but what I meant was Sarah's a fucking psychopath, okay? <laughs> Didn't you date her for like six months? Yeah. yeah, I did, and it was the worst six months of my life, actually. It was the best sex, though, so I guess in retrospect, it's kind of... Whatever happened with that? She turned 18. I had to cut her loose. For Christ's sake, would you just snap the freaking ball? All right, All right oh, somebody wants to get scored on. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, drop. Ah, Through the trees. Yes. In your Ooh. face, Bob. Touchdown. Still got it. Ugh. Yeah, oh. you saw that. John. Uh, an answer, Mr. Barton? Uh, seven. Yeah, very good. 
In this way, the conversion of this group into a useful stable up front and he didn't take his pills today. Oh, it's gonna be so bright. Yeah, no shit, dude. Oh, here he comes. Oh, good morning, class. Good morning, Professor Robertson. Yeah. Oh, today we need to talk about the impact of marriage in our social system. Before we just get started, uh, anyone have any questions or comments? Yes, uh, Daniel. Sure. Uh, marriage is good. Well, yes, it is. Thank you for participating. Marriage is uh, the coming of two people in a relationship, in a social setting, or three or four people, depending on where you live. Like, if you live near Utah or, or something like that, uh, then it's a whole different story, but... Uh, whole lot more fun. Um, let me explain. Does anyone here know someone who's married? Good, 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 good. See, in marriage, though, you think you know what it's about, you do not. Because you see, marriage, it's a scam. It's a scam from big business just to get people to start marrying together. It's really to get people to spend money. It's a commercial thing, it really. Example, again, i.e. dot, 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 colon. You would buy a towel, then you'd buy towels, and now you buy his and hers towels so that you've got to spend more money, and it just gets a little bit crazy, doesn't it? I think it does. It really does. Uh, another thing, who here has ever seen a phone book? Okay, all right, now. Um, in the phone book, you'll notice that you've got like Smith, uh, the names in the phone book, all different kinds of names, and it's Smith, and then you'd get Jones, and of course not on the same page, because that would either be a very, very small town, which isn't a bad thing, because I miss mine, but also, um, you think about it, and it would be Smith Jones, and then they would have a hyphen, Smith hyphen Jones, because people get married, want to keep their names, but then it's just one name, and then it just goes by Jones. You see what I'm, do you understand what I'm saying? Does anyone have any questions? Gregory, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not in this class. You is now. I, I have an unrelated question. There is no unrelated questions when it comes to sociology. F fantastic, because because I was wondering, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you have any idea what you're talking about? That would really be two questions. Hello, people. Are you buying this bullshit? Go home. Watch cartoons or something. Anything but this. Jesus. And that, class, is why some people will never get married. Because it's an anger issue. It's an, an anger issue. It is a bad thing. Uh, does anyone else have any other questions? I don't know. It's just kind of sad, really. Uh, Robertson just like brushed it off. He probably didn't even hear it. Yeah, I guess it helps to be off planet anyway, so. What do you think it's like to be off planet? See, I always thought it'd be like Star Wars, but that takes place in the past. So. As long as it's not like aliens, that's all I care about. So you and the new girl going out tonight? Yeah, second date. I better get a piece of ass this time, man. She's such a goddamn cock tease. Well, okay, maybe she's just a virgin, though. No, there's no way. She's way too hot for that. Besides, I swore off virgins. Seems awfully out of character for you. No, 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 no. Look, there's there's like an associated smell with the taking of a girl's virginity. Oh. It, yeah, it's disgusting. You can't get it out of the car. I'm not putting the CUDA through that shit again. That's messed up, dude. Anyways, I have a new rule about that. I wait for somebody else to break them in first. You know, boyfriend, 
uncle, whatever. You got fucking problems, man. Yes, I do. All right, so what, are you coming over? Yeah, where else would I go? I don't know, home, library, playground? We all know how Steve likes the playgrounds. I totally didn't expect this to happen. I mean, he's still married to his wife. She just thinks that he's gonna like leave his family and run away with her. I, how do I even spin that? It's gonna be tough. Girls who go for older guys, they don't like to come back. What exactly do you want to do here? I just want him out of the way. Out of the way or out of the way? Come on, man, we don't have to kill him, do we? No. No, no, you bunch of idiots, no, okay? But he is pissing me off, all right? I mean, he's just using her, and she just has no idea. We could scare him off, rough him up a little bit. Yeah, but then what if it doesn't hold and he sticks around anyway? Could rough her up a little bit. No. We could take pictures of him with the chick. With Nicole? Yeah, and then send him to his wife, and then he has to choose up front. Yeah, but then what if he chooses Nicole and I'm even more screwed than I was at first? Okay, okay, so find some hoe bag, you know, some other chick to sleep with him. You're telling me that your plan to get me laid is to hire some whore to have sex with somebody else? Yes. Not your best plan. <laughs> Man, forget all that. This type of guy is probably a real scumbag already. Nicole's a bright girl, she'll come around eventually. So what, like I just do nothing? No, no, no. Keep going after her. But there's no reason to cockwalk this guy. He'll end up fucking himself eventually. I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem like enough, you know? All right, well, what other choice do you have? None, okay? None. Fine. Fuck you guys, okay? Are you guys coming over or what? Is your mom going to be there? No, she's been gone all summer, man. But she made lasagna four months ago. It's in the freezer. I'm going to heat that shit up. <laughs> Still good. <laughs> Hey. Who's this? It's John. You told me to call. Oh. Hi. Hey, uh, something wrong? You were supposed to go to New York this weekend, right? Nigel says he's too busy to see me. Prick. I think he's seeing his wife behind my back. That's too bad. We should get together. Dinner this weekend? Yeah, uh, sure. Sounds great. Make some plans and call me. Yeah, uh, for sure, I will do. <laughs> Woo! All right! How was your call? Going out with Nicole this weekend. Dinner. Nice, man. Good luck. You're pissing in your own face, man. Uh, how, what about the fiance? Still with his wife. Good, very stable. Look who is talking, man. That actually reminds me. Uh... <laughs> Shut up. I got a manscape. I got a date later. Hey, what's his name? Lucy. Isn't that your mom's name? It's okay, my mom's not in high school. <laughs> That's really fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's my little heartbreaker. Mm. Hey, come on, give your uncle a little kiss now. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I just put my lips on. Cindy Starlight Pressman, don't you dare sass your uncle. Sorry, Aunt Shelley. Mm -hmm. Are you having some dinner? Or are you still watching your figure? I'll watch your figure for you. 
Nothing for me, thanks. I'm going out with Steve tonight. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what I think about this little Steve character. Huh? Why are you working at that flicker shack for, huh? Anyway, you, you smell like popcorn, and uh, you're hardly making anything. I told you, you want to make some real money. You got to go down there and audition for the cast. Mm-mm. No, see. That place closed down last year. Oh. What? Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, no. well, that's worth me and your Aunt Shelly met. Mm -hmm. She was B squad, but I'll tell you, she would have been center stage Friday night had I not come along and snatched her out. Mm-hmm. Those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. Mm -hmm. But that's not for Cindy. Mm-mm. Cindy's know. doing just fine. Aren't you, sweetie? <laughs> Steve's here. All right, honey, have a good time. Steve's here. I know. No, oh, don't worry about it. Come on. I know. I'll give you something to fill your hands with. Come on. Hey, Come on, let's, let's go. Hey, Naughty boy. Play hide the beer can. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, cut it out. What? Come on, I'm just not ready yet. Have another beer, then. I'm serious. Besides, I have to sober up by curfew. My Aunt Shelly will smell my breath and spank me again. Have you thought any more about homecoming? Yeah, I thought about it. And? I, I don't know. I need more time, right? But there's this other guy who keeps asking me, and I can't keep stalling. So go with him, then. I don't want to go with him. He's in my grade. Did you tell him that? No. I told him I want to go with you, but that you hadn't decided yet. So he'll just have to wait. OK, so let me get this straight. You've just got this kid on hold? Kind of. <laughs> what? No, nothing. Nothing. Come here. What do you mean you haven't done her yet? She's in high school, man. She doesn't even have a car, for Christ's sake. So, get behind her, grab her arms, and ride her like a bicycle. Yeah, I don't think her mom would appreciate that very much. Is her mom hot? Probably, but she's got to be at least 30. You know what you should do? Go to her house when her mom's there, get behind her, What's ride up, her. I'm just killing time before work. All right, well, I will be in my room exercising my God-given right to watch free porn and rub one out, so. So. Think of me. Always do. But you guys, okay? I don't want you down here playing games all day in my parents' basement, okay? Robert, take out the trash, and Franklin, so help me God if I have to ask you to mow the lawn one more time, no more games, that's it. But, but I hate chores. Oh, oh, that's enough out of both of you, okay? Uh, you know where I'll be. Have fun, boys. been right here. So I see. I got your message. What's up? So I've decided I'm going to go. <gasps> oh, Steve. Yeah, OK, well, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to like it. But I will do it for you. <sighs> this is going to be so great. My friend Sandy, she's going with her boyfriend, Richard. We can totally double. No, 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 no doubles, no dinners, just me and you. OK, and we're not staying long. All right, but we are going. Yes, Cindy, we are going to homecoming. This is gonna be so great. Yeah. I gotta get back downstairs. Okay. Fuck. It's tough. I mean, I know that there's a place for me at the university when I graduate, but the pay's not very good. And then if I accept a position somewhere else, it doesn't leave any room for Nigel. He's tenure, so he can't just leave. I don't know about this Nigel guy. It just seems like a real douche. <laughs> OK, he's just, he's been a real asshole lately. Some guys never grow up. I grew up. Sure you did. I did. Do you think Boba Fett could take on the Terminator? Oh my god, in a heartbeat. I mean, Boba Fett's a bounty hunter. Terminator would have no idea what hit him. Real oh. mature. OK. <laughs> We've been talking about me all night, though. What about you? Are you seeing anyone? Well, like, uh, romantically? Yeah. Anyone I'd know? Uh, uh, 
No, I, I've been kind of more taking a break from the whole dating game. I'm trying to figure some things out. Hmm. That's good for you. Yeah. How much time have you taken? I uh, like five or six. Weeks. Years. John, that's more than a little bit of time. I know. That's since we broke up. Have you not dated anyone since we broke up? I dated a little bit like right after, but uh, I, I don't know. Okay, okay. so I, I like walnuts. I'm not really a Chex Mix kind of guy. Let me, okay, uh, so Steve, he, he likes Chex Mix. He, he likes the variety. He likes to really dig in there and shove as much shit into his face as he possibly can. Where I, I, I like walnuts. I, I like to really take my time to crack into the... This, this is terrible analogy. It's, it's not great. It's not good. Uh, I guess um, I guess what I'm trying to say is you uh, ruined me for all other women. Oh, because I'm a nut. Oh, that was bad. That was not good. We should probably get going. Yeah, where's this waiter been? I don't know where... So what time did you even get back last night? Uh, 9.30? And I got a good night kiss. Okay, it was on the cheek, but it was close to the lips and I paid for dinner, so that's gotta mean something, right? It means you're out 50 bucks. Okay. Look, man, if you're not gonna be down below fighting for scraps like the rest of us, you need to swim your ass to the surface and tickle the little man in the boat. Oh, I decided I'm going to homecoming. What? No shit, dude. You've got to be fucking shitting me. There is no way. Yeah, no, I, I figure if she's going to put out, you know, this will be the night. Oh my God, you are going to humiliate yourself in front of an entire high school just to get this girl in bed? Are you kidding? No, Why don't you graduate to real women, dude? Because let me tell you something about real women. Please. They don't date guys like us, all right? We're on the level, okay? We don't hide our demands and we don't try to put on a show. They don't want what we have to offer, okay? They don't want love. They're not looking for sex. They're looking for a lifestyle, all right? What kind of car did he drive? Is he rich? It's fucking vicious. <laughs> Every hot girl that we knew in high school was always dating a college guy, right? Yeah. They shopped up. That always left guys like me and you stuck somewhere in between the fat chicks and the freaks. Fat chicks, though. Dating isn't something that's meant to be enjoyed, man. It's an emotional trash compactor that's half filled with broken wills and it's topped off with rejection. Okay. But the game can be played both ways, right? I can shop down because I'm the college guy now. This is my time. I get to take my pick. These high school girls who wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire, now I'm exactly what they're looking for. And all of those guys who used to be us, those loser guys, they don't know it, but I'm doing it for them, all right? I fuck each and every one of those girls for those guys who couldn't get a date on a Friday night. Wow. And it feels good. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's so very noble of you. Oh, the king coming down from the castle to feed the peasants. <laughs> you're basically a bottom feeder, dude, and you know it. I'm a what? Bottom feeder. You know, you're just strolling along the bottom of the ocean, just picking up whatever garbage you want to put in your mouth, just way too lazy to even just go up and get real food. Okay, yeah, so, so I'm eating off the bottom. Look, I admit it. Look, this, this is a system that's been in place for generations. The women invented it. We just need to learn how to play along. Uh, Nicole's professor, what's his fucking name? Nigel. Yeah, Nigel. Yeah. Bottom feeder. Extra slimy. Oh, yeah. And you need to be twice the fish that he is if you want to win her back. That's a lot of work, man. And say you put in all that work and you don't get anything. Or... Or... You swim along the bottom, you get a girl who's twice as hot, a little bit younger. You know what? I'm willing to bet you that I will be twice as satisfied winning back Nicole than you ever would be fucking this random high school sweetheart of yours. If you win her back. Oh, I'll win her back, all right? I just gotta get rid of this fiance of hers and I'm fucking golden. Yeah, well, okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, time to beat is uh, two minutes, 47 seconds. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, on your mark, mm -hmm. get set, mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm.
please take a look at the outline for the midterm. Remember, it represents 40% of your final grade. So please, if you have any questions, ask them now. God damn. Well, I won't be that bad. Look at these questions. I don't know, Nicole. I'm not good at taking tests. Maybe I can help you study. I like that. Just miss John. He went to class. Yeah, no, I know. I was kind of hoping I could talk to you, actually. Look, John is, he's a good guy. You know that. But we both know that he's sensitive. Yeah, I know. So, like, the last time that you two were together and then you broke it off, things got kind of bad really bad. Oh, come on. No, I'm talking, he was catatonic. Okay, it took a lot of serious vitamins to turn that boy around. What's your point? My point is, I know you, you're evil. <laughs> all right, I know exactly what's gonna happen this time. All I'm asking is that you give me some sort of heads up before you fuck him over again, okay? Fuck you, Steve. If you wanna fuck me, that's fine. Just like, give me a heads up before you do it, okay? Thank you. All right, for society to grow, there have to be rules that everyone is in agreement with. Now, these are the laws that keep society going. But, uh, but also, there's the common sense things, like, right now, it's also the common sense things people forget, like don't give someone a stick to whoop you in the head with after you eat. Really? Dude, I'm falling behind on all the homecoming crap. I, I gotta get a suit, tickets, condoms, whatever. I gotta get my paycheck after this class. At least you know you're actually gonna get laid. Nicole's coming over later to study, whatever the fuck that means. That means you're gonna be a wreck for the rest of the day. Boys, do y'all hear me? Seven. Seven. Good, I thought you wasn't paying attention. So that comes all the way down then to why people go there and why they end up having to wear them before they go inside. No, 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 boys, come on, out. I got Nicole coming over at three to study. Uh, hold on, we just need 15 minutes. Out, We're Frank. about to flip the score. Uh, now. Uh, but, John. Look, do it tomorrow, Frank. Come on, out, boys, come on, let's move, let's nice. move, quickly, Where let's you go. Going? You guys move so slow, let's go, come on. Oh, look at this, here we go, let's I'm moving along. Move. Let's move, let's go, let's get out of my house. Oh, Sorry. Our house. Yeah, it's not, it's not. no it's not. We can be forever, we can be forever, we can be together, together, we can be forever, forever, we can be together. Hey guys, John inside? Yeah. Uh, so, oh, 
calls Nigel. He's being a prick. We got in this huge fight. All he ever does is lie to me. That's not good. Johnny, no, you don't have to get me drunk to sleep with me. Oh, but I bought all this beer. <laughs> How long did you give him? 10 minutes. Ouch, that's cold. No faith in him? He's a magnificent stallion. How long's it been? Six years? 10 minutes at the top end, unless they're actually studying. <laughs> Wait, Nicole, does, does this mean we're back together? Why does this have to mean anything? Can't we just... Fuck, for old time's sake? No. I don't want just some throwaway fuck. I want you. Oh my God, we can't just get back together, John. It's been six years. We're different people. I'm just really pissed at Nigel right now. It's revenge sex. Can you handle that? No, I don't, I don't think I can. I have feelings here. Oh my God, it's not about feelings. And it's not about a relationship. We had some good times, sure. But I've changed. Maybe you haven't. I, I have. That's it, isn't it? God, six years later and still the same old John. Oh. You know, I bet you're still duct taping yourself to lawn chairs and jumping in the lake. Hey, my best time's almost a world record. You know, I almost love you, John. But if you could just act like more of a man. I am. Hell, you hang out with your friends and live in your parents' basement. Hell, you are still going to a two-year community college. You don't take your life seriously, but you expect me to think you can take a relationship seriously? I, look, I've changed, oh, okay? You, you may not be able to see it, but I have. Okay, take the chem class. It is so obvious that you're just there to be around me. That is a real class, and you haven't listened to a word the professor said. You don't care what you get on the exam. You just invited me here to sleep with me. And I came here because I wanted you too. But now you're talking about a relationship. You don't know the responsibility it takes to make a relationship work. I, 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 I might. You know what? I'll tell you what. You want to prove to me that you know what it takes to build a real relationship? You ace that midterm. What? You get an A on that test, and it'll show me that you know what it takes. You don't get an A, it's all over. <laughs> Look, Nicole, that's, that's no, fucking ridiculous. No I know it's crazy, but I'm gonna give you your shot. I owe you that. You've got a week and a half. You better take the plastic off those textbooks. But... Bye, Nicole. Bye, Nicole. <laughs> Dips on control in one. Oh, cool ranch. Right. Figured you deserve to see me in something that isn't a t-shirt. Hell, I've seen you naked. Hey, I thought we agreed to never talk about that. Eh. Well, uh -oh. what's going on with the tie? My one at work is a clip-on, so I don't know how to do it. Oh my god, <laughs> come here, dude. <laughs> what's this? If I don't pass my chemistry midterm, I lose Nicole forever. So? So, I'm studying. Aren't you on the air in an hour? Yeah, but I'm just gonna look at my notes in between songs, and then it's back to the wall. 
No sleep for me tonight. By the looks of it, you won't be getting very much either. Shit, I better not. This stuff was expensive. All right, well, I thought I had. I don't... I'll Google it. You got condoms, all right? Buddy, I am a Trojan shareholder. Atta boy. Well, remember, if you get caught behind enemy lines, we will disavow any knowledge of your existence. For queen and country, sir. Godspeed. John, you do realize those pages are double-sided, correct? Good luck. Fuck. Yeah. They call me the jerk, cause I always have three lovers, and I burn through Trojan rubber like no other. And when I'm not between the sheets, I'm busy staying undercover. Ain't as sweet as it seems to be. You're, you're Cindy's uncle? <sighs> what, uh, what do you, what do you do for a living? I make bullets. <laughs> cool. You, like, sell them to Mega Mart, or? <laughs> <laughs> Zeke, Zeke, don't scare the boy, don't scare the boy. Honey, Zeke here is a big teddy bear. You don't have to be scared. Ain't that right, Zeke? Mm. <laughs> Must be Cindy now coming down the stairs. Please, God. Uh, oh my God, look at my oh, baby. Yeah. Woo! Oh, my beautiful girl. Looks good enough to eat. She gets that from her aunt. Oh, come here, girl. Let me look at you. Oh, spin around. God damn. Woo! Now you are. You got my card in case you need to get in touch with me now. Yeah, yes, sir, right here. Uh... Uncle Zeke. <laughs> oh, hey. hmm. All right, be good. Have fun. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you, uh, you take care of our Cindy here, you hear? Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Not too good. <laughs> you gotta leave me some. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, his butt grabbing the gun with me and kind of a certain way. Damn, them girls look like they grandma. <sighs> bye bye, lovebirds. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Jesus, I thought we'd never get out of there. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, he wasn't supposed to be here today. Do you think they believe that I'm in high school? I mean... I told them you were a junior. Really? Yeah. Besides, I told them you have a curfew, and I'll be staying with some friends after homecoming. What friends? The ones at the hotel. You look really great, by the way. I know. Hey, man. You ever think we should upgrade our video game system to something that's not 50 years old? I mean, we'll upgrade our video game system when John upgrades his video game system. That's fair. That is yeah. Yeah, but I'm just gonna rack up these W's because you haven't won in like ages. Like I'm really, I'd rather pay against uh, uh, a computer at this point. See, this is why I hate playing when you're wearing the victory shawl. I mean, this, I, I mean, the only victors get to wear the victory shawl, loser. You're a loser. Your mom's a loser. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Senior Taylor, este bat este tu. Don't you think you're a little old to be attending homecoming? Like, maybe it's kind of inappropriate for you to even be here. Well, it's no more inappropriate than the flask you keep in your desk. Go, go have a good time. 
Yeah, gracias. Yep, this is homecoming. I'll be right back. You know her? Yeah, Cindy Pressman. She's in my class. Yeah. You want her, don't you? Uh, yeah, she's all right. Yeah, well, it is never gonna happen, so... Come on, don't worry, man. You know what? You keep your eye on those junior high girls, all right? Oh, shit, uh, 101.2, the bartender. That was Adam Infantino with Finding His Way. Uh, sorry about all that dead air. I was, um, well, whatever. Uh, up next, we got some putts buckets, some Shelly Wilkes, and then Scrod for you. So make sure to stick around. But uh, first caller to call in and tell me how to separate heavy molecules from a phosphorus compound at room temperature gets two tickets to Patrick Jowan on the 17th. So... 101.2. 101.2. Rochester's original bull station. God. Well, I'm gonna go freshen up. Well, bed. It's just me and you. Don't let me down. Maybe I'll wipe you off after. Deal? How was your test, asshole? Don't ask. How was the dance? Ugh. Oh. Not so great. Don't tell me it didn't happen. No, it it happened. It's just that, uh... It's just that, uh, what? All right, well, I didn't want to fuck around and come too fast, so I... I snuck off and, and jerked off in the bathroom three times during the dance. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, yeah, I did. And then when it came time to assemble the troops, we were out of ammo. So what'd you do? Did what any good soldier would do, I faked it. You faked it? Eight times. Only eight? I ran out of condoms. <laughs> so what, dude? You were faking it. Yeah, but I didn't want to spoil the illusion. Oh, well, dude, bravo, Mr. Copperfield. It's inhuman, man. I can't live up to this chick's standards. I mean, if I have to repeat a performance like that, I'm gonna blow my colon out, or worse. It's just... So you coming to class today or what? Hell no. Those chairs would kill me. No. 
When do you, uh, when do you figure out about your test? Next week. I don't know if I made it though, man. No. no, I'm sure you did. You and that science shit are like this, you know? I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. oh, are you okay? Oh, Come my on. God! Aww. Is it possible for your own sperm to kick you in the nuts? I didn't think that was. Dude, no friendly fire. Well, maybe don't get in my way. You shot me. You fucking shot me. Yeah, I'm about to do it again. Here you missed more shots than a fucking stormtrooper, and you fucking shot me? Yeah. Yeah. That's bullshit. Just... You're bullshit. Get wrecked. Fine. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, too. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold on. What if somebody comes? Somebody will. <laughs> I can't accept your exam sheet. But why? <laughs> because you were still filling in the bubbles after I told everybody to put their pencils down. I, I can't accept it. I busted my ass to finish. All I was doing was filling out my name on the other side of the sheet. Yeah, well, there are rules. Sorry. Do you know who I am? No. Good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Mr. Barton. I finished uh, correcting your exam. You have? Yes, and uh, I'll have to be honest, I find it pretty surprising. Well, I uh, do know some things about the periodic table. So. Apparently not. I mean, statistically speaking, you should have had at least one of those answers correct. I mean, you really ding the hell out of the bell curve. You know, Mr. Barton, I... I Noticed recently you've been kind of distracted. I mean, uh, are, are you going through something personal? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, um, I could make arrangements for you to take the exam again. If I'm being honest, I really don't think it's going to make too big of a difference. But thank you. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I like you. Frankly, a lot. I mean, would you, would you like to get an A in this class? An A? Yeah. What do I have to do for a C? Society will not allow a quote, unquote, sissy to... Uh, you're late again, son. Is that Professor Ding-a-ling-a-ding-a-dinger keeping you after? Uh, something like that. Where were you? I got my test back. Oh, nice. How'd you do? I got an A. Oh, cool, man. I told you, you got that chemistry down to a science. Yeah, you got any gum? Years it became, do you have to make a sissy, which is a number one. We have an ugly school. <clears throat> shit, shit, what? shit. What? What? Come on, what? Oh, my God. Dude, yeah. what? <laughs> it's Cindy. Oh. She's waiting for me. Oh, are you going to launch another offensive, Admiral? Dude, she can't get enough. <laughs> Poor baby. No, I'm serious, man. All right, my pubes are going gray. My back hurts. I'm thirsty, like, all the time. She's sucking the life out of me. Literally? Yeah. <laughs> Look, if I'm not at your house in, like, two hours, you got to text me, okay? Sure. No, I'm serious, man, all right? Y you don't text me, I might not make it. I'm going to need an excuse. Well, I mean, if you're going to go out, it's really not that bad of a way to do it. I don't know. I feel like an old-fashioned heart attack might be a little bit easier. Well, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe. Ready? Yeah. All right. Oh. Come on. <laughs> John, this is Cindy. Cindy, this is John. Hi, I've, I've heard so much about you. Really? No, I haven't, actually. Um, but I'm going to go, OK? So you kids have fun, yeah? Hi. Hi. <laughs> shadow in the ways in which you tear me down in the 
distant hours of the night. And it breathes some life back into me. And I sit on the outskirts of this town. So just a wandering minstrel in a room full of clowns. But I sat there waiting for you. Up just to bring me down. No, water. God, I need water. We have to switch. The water washes the filth away. The outskirts of some strung out. Behold! I have emerged victorious. Cindy peed on me. Wait, what? She peed. I win. Who's Cindy? Steve's new girlfriend. How is that a good thing? Uh, <laughs> you see, she peed, and then she stopped. Stopped peeing? Stopped having sex. Three weeks, two days, 16 hours later. She's finally done. Like, for life? God, I hope so. You got fucking problems, man. I don't know, it'd take a lot for me to pee on a guy. Really, you should try it, you might like it. This boy's a freak. <laughs> It's no weirder than John's panty harvest. Panty what? Harvest. You guys don't know about this? John collects panties. He used to take a pair from me every time we had sex. He'd label it with the place, the time, and the date. It was terrible. I was spending a fortune on underwear. Sounds like a trophy collection. And that's exactly what it was. You know I still have it, right? Get out. You do not. Sure he does. I just looked through it like two weeks ago. Where is it? This is my closet. How many did you get? I don't even know, dude. 154. No shit. Yeah. Bro, you took 154 panties from that girl? Oh yeah, well I mean, she was buying in bulk at the time, so. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot how many of these there were. 154. Man, I was a slut. Nicole Richards, David Coffer's bedroom, October 31st, 11.15. Um, I remember these. So do I. You know, I think we did it in your car more times than we did it in an actual bed. I miss that car. Oh, I don't remember spots. You son of a bitch. Look, in the call, it's Sarah not Sarah Brand? Sarah Brand? And right in the middle of our relationship, you fucked that fat bitch? No, 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 I didn't. Well, okay, yes, I did sleep with her, but no, we, we weren't dating at the time. It was one of those weekends that we'd broken up. And she did kind of look like you, to be fair, besides <laughs> the whole fat thing. I, but that's an honest mistake. Shut, Shut up! up. <laughs> Brooke Peters, Anna Luther, Tatiana Khrushchev, the exchange student? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you are such an asshole! No, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so you, you remember when you wanted to go look at school, so you dumped me so you could go check out campus and feel what it's like to be a single woman? Uh, what was I supposed to do, just sit around and wait for you to come back and get it out of your system? Yes! Why didn't you tell me when we got back together? Well, I knew it'd piss you off. Well, congratulations. Cool. Nicole, wait. You're not wearing pants. Oh, that kind of sucks. Just got her back. Thank you, Captain Bobbius. Thank you. Nicole! Fuck. All right, I dare one of you to smell this. How much?
Jesus, man. Been up there knocking for half an hour. Would you let me in? Oh, shit. Oh, she is not gonna call you. Yes, she is. She's just, she's just. Hello? No. No, he doesn't live here. Wrong number? No. Yeah, anyways, I gotta crash here for a few days. Need sanctuary. From what? Little Miss Nympho. She's a seminal vampire. So, so are you gonna call Miss Underpants? No, I mean, what'd I even say? You're asking me for advice on women? You must be desperate. I'm not getting her back, am I, man? No. No, not by traditional means, you're not. You need to talk to somebody who actually knows something about women. And you need to get me a cheeseburger. Get it yourself. I can't, John. I'm in sanctuary. My friends are assholes. Well, we're coming up to the midnight hour. The darkest hour. The point in the night where you start to wonder if dawn will even come, but will it? Probably not. That was Why Won't I Stop Crying by Tweed Jacket, and you know what? I'm gonna play it again! Anybody got any problem with that? Didn't think so. <sighs> Sam, my man! You know anything about women? No. Talk. John, sorry, the front door was wide open. Fucking Frank. Where's Steve? I don't know. His fucking car is here. Well, yeah, but I was gonna... Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oops. Cindy, what the fuck are you doing here? Have you met Betty? Can we go someplace private? I kind of had plans. I'm pregnant. I get paid on Friday. Look, I've actually given this quite a bit of thought. I just told you. It doesn't mean I haven't thought about it. P contingencies, okay? And I think it's best. I'm not keeping it. No, 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 listen to me. I think that we, what? What do I look like an idiot? I'm not having a kid, let alone your kid at 18. What? Why not? Steve, you're a loser. I mean, look at you. You're 25, you work at a movie theater, you spend all of your time bullshitting with your stupid friends and knocking up underage employees. You wouldn't make a good husband, and you'd be a terrible father. And I'm not gonna ruin my whole life just to bring your child into the world. But, okay, that's not even- No buts. I'm dumping you. And I want your word. Your most serious pledge that you won't ever tell anyone that I was pregnant. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's not how this is supposed- because I, I thought we... Look, Steve, you have a hot car. You bought me beer. Dating you made all my friends jealous. But I'm getting out of high school soon. And there are a lot of guys who have way more to offer than you. I want a man who can handle me as a woman, not as a girl. I'll see you around. But... Okay, well, you know what? You're fired anyway, so... <laughs> I mean, do you believe that shit? Anyway, where were we? Oh, fuck no. What are you... What are you doing? Son, is you peeping? What? No, uh, it's not like that at all. Look, I... Willie? No, it's John. Dude, I'm in your class. Right. John, you can't be peeping on folks when they don't know about it. It just ain't right. I know, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Although, if you paid them for it, that'll be all right. 
Who are you peeping on anyway? Well, it, my girlfriend and I got into a fight, so just... Yeah, girlfriends, that's tough, you know? I hear that, it's a lot of trouble, but you know, that doesn't allow you to be peeping on folks without them knowing about it, especially here on a campus, okay? No, I, I look, I know, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, good. Won't happen again. I'll see you back in class then. Yeah, um, so, Mr. Robertson, can I ask you a question? You just did. <laughs> I was always here for my students. What can I do you for? Well, so, I broke up with my girlfriend the other day. Okay, I'll, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. She broke up with me. Um, it's cause every time when we used to break up, I would just go and sleep with like half of the high school. That was like seven years ago though, so I guess what I'm asking is how do I just, how do I get her back? She broke half of school up seven years ago. Dude, That's no. That's incredible. No, man, I, we broke, hmm. dude, never mind, man. I'm just, I'll get out of here. All right, John, John, wait, hold up, hold up. Listen, I know, forget the teeth. I can't tell you how to get your girl back, but I can tell you this. Life is full of crossroads, you know, points that make you sit up and take notice. You got a lot of choices to make, and sometimes you make the wrong ones. And when that happens, you gotta wake up, you know? Reevaluate what's going on, figure out what you're doing wrong, and then get back on track. You run yourself into the ground, you're gonna end up crazy and alone. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Good, all right, let me ask you this. Does she hate you? Good. Hate and love are the same. It's apathy that you can't repair. I mean, once that hits, it's like a brick wall, you know, and then you're just left to face the rest of your life with all the hope and glory behind you. It'll make you bitter. You still got time. Use it wisely. Uh, okay, okay, um... I got my own sociology project I'm working on. I'll see you later, Gary. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my God. Where is Steve? Jesus, what the hell happened here? Man, you guys stink. When's the last time you showered? We're out of beer. Yeah, so is the rest of Rochester from the look of it. I can see sober at the end of the horizon, and I don't like it. Damn, these bitches fucked you boys all the way up. How much longer do you guys think you're gonna be at this? I think we got enough sips and drops for like two more hours. <laughs> well, shit, we're not gonna be here that long. Where are you going? We have a book tour. <laughs> oh, a what? Yeah, we've been working with Professor Robertson all semester. Sorry we couldn't tell you. Wait, you wrote a book? Yeah. What, do you think we just spend all our time here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we had this idea that most people are basically sheep. You put them in the room with an authority figure, and they'll follow along no matter how outrageous or ridiculous that person is. So we took that idea to Professor Robertson, and he suggested a grand social experiment with his Sociology 101 class. Your class. And thus, Crazy Professor Robertson was born. Hey, we brought you guys a gift. Yeah, why do you think we're here? Ta-da! And it's signed. Come on, guys, don't be too hard on yourselves. You're the only ones who saw through the experiment. Turns out, being huge assholes helps you see through bullshit. Well, we got a jet. We'll see in, like, four months? You guys still be right here? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> guys, do us a favor. Get off your asses and get something done. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Go away. I'm not coming out. Why? Uh, um, oh, okay. I'm not leaving, though. I have another plan, and I, uh, I don't think you're gonna like it. Okay, I warned you. We wish precious.
Um, look, Nicole, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I can't change the past, but I can change this path that I'm on now. I mean, I need you. I don't want to lose you again. I mean, especially not like this. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, how many guys did you sleep with that I never gave you shit about any of them? Those weren't guys you knew. What difference does it make if I know them or not? John, those girls. When we got back together, they knew that I didn't know. I must have been a laughing stock. Oh my god. Nobody cared. Nicole, nobody gave a shit. Hey! Put your fucking boyfriend and his little fucking sausage away. He's not my boyfriend. What? Oh, okay, great. I don't fucking care. And nobody wants to see his little yogurt slinger out here. Put it the fuck away. Okay, this is dumb. All right, you have to take me back. Take you back? Yeah. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking right now. No, we're not. John, relationships are about sacrifice, not apology. Don't you understand that? You don't think I know about sacrifice? Are you fucking kidding me? I sucked a fucking dick for you. Bitching to me about fucking sacrifices. Are you kidding? Complaining about getting laughed at in high school? What about Nigel's wife? Do you even think about that? How's that any different? I mean, do you even believe half the shit that you even say? doing here? Great fucking question. I got an idea. Wrap your fucking cheese log up before I squeeze it onto a fucking cracker. Get out of here. Okay, you know what? This, this is it. I really don't care anymore. Live your life. Have your affairs. I can't keep up with this anymore, okay? You've been fucking me up for eight years. Eight years. Just gotta get myself back on track. No, wait. John, wait! Who are you now? You sure about this? Yeah. Good. Welcome back to the land of the living. <laughs> no kidding. So how do you think we did? What, in class? Yeah. Yeah, I think we got a B in Robertson's, because the extra credit. And then I got my A in chem, so... That's... Shit. What? That puts you pretty close to graduating, doesn't it? <laughs> that kind of does. You think we should? What, graduate? Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Why not? And then what? I don't know, man. Something. You gotta do something, right? Yeah. How you doing? Just give me a sec. One more sec. I got it. Oh, oh dude! <laughs> Two minutes and three seconds. What's the record for the hot tub? Steve, my man, we just said it. Holy shit! That's right. Oh, my God. How do we not have girlfriends yet? Ooh. With the years and years of trying this out.